zero to $100,000 plus with his social media marketing agency in less than a year. This is the story of Jeremy, one of my students. And a few days ago, I had a very juicy conversation with him and he shared with me the three key things that he used during his journey that really made the whole difference. And what I wanna do in this video is I wanna share them with you. So by the end of this video, you can walk away with tangible advice that you can implement into your agency to get massive results. And so without further ado, the first key was moving away from servicing local businesses and experiencing the bliss of the e-commerce space. Jeremy, like a lot of people, used to run a traditional local business marketing agency. To get meetings with prospects, him and his girlfriend would literally pick a suite he would go on one side and his girlfriend on the other and they would just knock on doors and try to get clients to sign on with them. Until one of the business owners that Jeremy actually signed asked him, Jeremy, how do you plan on scaling this agency? And well, Jeremy didn't have an answer. The reality was that his agency was not scalable. It was dependent on his time, energy, and location. Him and his wife not only knew that it wasn't sustainable, but they were also tied to their local city. And so shifting to the e-commerce agency model literally changed everything for him and his wife. They could reach out to any prospect in their niche within the e-commerce space from all over the world, have hundreds of conversations on a daily basis using my automated sales funnel. And the best thing was that there was never an expectation to meet in person. These e comm agency founders, they were used to hiring people from all over the world. Not only that, but by making this shift, I also helped them change their offer around, which actually brings us to the second key shift into a scalable revenue driven service. Jeremy used to offer content creation and social media management for these local businesses. And uh, that came with a few problems. The main one being those services were not revenue driven. Jeremy couldn't tell the client how much he had spent and most importantly, how much he had made them, which just made it hard to justify high prices, let alone any price for that matter. Because at the end of the day, he was price competitive. On the conversation that we had, he actually told me that he was once beaten out by the business owner's daughter who could literally offer his service for pennies on the hour. And also because the return that he was making for the clients was not clear, he couldn't take a percentage of what he was making the client. And as a byproduct, his income was very limited. So shifting to paid ads for a specific niche within the e-commerce sector really changed everything for him. And that brings us to the final key, which is obsession over client value and results. Jeremy's trying to build a family with his newly married wife. And so he doesn't want a high complexity business with hundreds of clients, uh, you know, messaging them, et cetera, et cetera. He wants a low complexity business that makes him a lot of money. And so instead of volume of clients, he focused on maximizing the value per client. Using a paid ad service for e-com businesses, he was able to charge higher retainers because e-com businesses have higher profit margins. And not only that, but they see paid ads as a must, as a necessity in their marketing strategy. But he was also able to take a percentage of what he was making them every single month because he could literally tell them, hey, I spent this much for you and I made you this much and I can take a chunk of that every single month. And that percentage grows month on month as he increases the advertising spend for these clients pretty much passively. But if that wasn't enough, he was also able to cross sell his clients to different services under the e-commerce uh, umbrella using my 360 hybrid service model where you not only look at e-com growth from a paid ads, you know, Facebook ads lens, but you actually look at the landing page, the offer, the backend of emails, the content, et cetera, et cetera. And the final thing he did is that he focused on putting together an incredible A team to ensure that he got clients incredible results and that allowed him to keep his clients for much longer than average and not have to constantly be stressed out about clients offboarding and leaving his agency. And so those are the three key things that Jeremy used to go from zero to $100,000 plus with his social media marketing agency in less than a year. If you want to catch the whole conversation with Jeremy, it's an incredibly juicy one. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to it on screen right now. And if you want to catch free trainings on how to actually grow your social media marketing agency, the best acquisition strategies that are working right now, I'm pretty much going live daily on my free Facebook mastermind. If you want to get access to that, there's going to be a link in the description. You can go ahead and click on that, fill out a bunch of questions. If you're a good fit, we'll let you in. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.